Yo. Hi, right, what's good, y'all? Oh it's your boy, Alec. Yo, back on your screen. Today, I'm going to be breaking down a melody I made for Don Tolliver. But the twist is, I used only one shots. Only. And I'm showing y'all that y'all don't need all that shit, like, contact, omnisphere, like, this is all one shots. Except, like, two things. That's besides the point. Alright, so I'm going to basically be breaking down this melody and showing how you can make one shots really sound as good, if not better, than VSC. This is uh, some for, like, Cactus Jack, like, Travis, you know, Don Tall or whatever. Uh, here's the melody I'm going to be I'm Here's the melody I'm gonna be breaking down. Alright, so let's get into the first sound. All my one shots that I got are from Base One and Pilgrim's one shot kits. All of them. Those are my favorite one shot kits. And TV's new one shot kit that's coming out in, I think it's a week or two. Um, you know, that's. Y'all not ready for that. I'm just saying. Y'all not ready for that. But that's besides the point. That's besides the point. So I literally started off with this basic ass uh, progression. Sounds like this. That's it. Um, all it is, is it's literally, all I did was I got the bass notes first, and it was just. Like, this is the trick with these Travis Scott Don Tolliver melodies. You want to go one half step up, so like you can see all I did here was, it's just basically boom, boom, or boom. Like that. Um, these are that's the trick with these uh, Don Tolliver melodies. You want the half step up, uh, and it's really simple, and it you know it gives a cool vibe. Like it's a little tension. And I just added these little top notes just to make it a little more cool, but it's pretty repetitive. So for effects, I added uh, a basic vintage punch, a RC20. I added EQ, EQ some stuff that I don't need. A pan man, so again, it can go from one ear to another. Uh, I used a minor movement a preset, so it doesn't move too much. And I panned it. Be I panned it because originally the um, pan man goes more to the left, and it wasn't. I wasn't able to. Anyway, yeah, I panned it to the to the right more. But um, messing around panning is very cool to make your sample sound more full and more interesting and my bad if I sound sick again because well shit I am so yeah next up I added this little like a bell one shot sounds like this it just like starts with the melody um nothing crazy for effects all I did was literally just add a reverb uh put on chaotic hall then an EQ mess around with the lot like without effects sounds like this next I added this creature synth also from base one uh and pilgrim one shot kit uh sounds like this You know, that sounds like airy and like spacey and I thought it'd give a cool uh, vibe and it, it sound it makes the melody sound way more full than it is. This is without effects. Like, that's not, you know. Um, but this is a very vintage one shot, uh, which I like. For effects, I added this reverb, an isotope vinyl, an isotope vinyl put on the 1950%. I turned up the uh, detune a bit. Then I had an EQ, uh, I took uh, some highs and lows out, and then I got another EQ and messed around with the mids and took even more highs and lows. And then I started sounding like this. Um, and this is like the vintage feel of the melody. And these melodies are really like vintage. And these, like, these melodies are fire once they're done and stuff. Like, it sounds like shit and it sounds too simple at first, but then when you really finish it, it's heat. So, uh, yeah. Next up, I added this bass. Yes, yes, yes. I know. It's an analog lab. I know. I know. I know. I know. Okay. 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 This, it seems like it was clickbait. I know. I know. Look, look. I'm back to using the bass kelm. I know. The past two tutorials, y'all have seen me, and I use this bass. This is, I need to stop. I know. I'm addicted. But this, this is kind of hard. Not going to lie. But you could really just get any pluck bass from anywhere. Uh, I know that 
for example, um, KBZ's one shot kit has his one bass, uh, this bass. Uh, pretty much works the same. You can just affect it to sound the same as this. Uh, but I like this sound a bit more, and you can definitely find one shot kits with the same bass. I promise you. Uh, shit, I might even make this a one shot if y'all want. I the ba okay. Basically, in these Don Tolliver modes, the bass is really important, right? This is the bounce, so it actually sounds like this. And it just repeats that the whole time. Uh, but you can see that it doesn't hit on the first thing because that's that's bounce right there I right? so Because you don't expect it to hit you expect it to hit there and it doesn't and then it hits all oh, that I'm telling you that's hard like when it when it here it sounds like this It gives a cool little like feel you know what I mean I thought I thought that was a really cool thing to offset it uh, for effects, I added a decapitator, just turned up the bit of the drive, and then an EQ, you know, whatever. Took some frequencies, messed around, blah, blah, you know what I mean? Next up, I added this piano from Contact. Yes, yes, I know, I know, look. Um, but I, it's the mono broadcast, and you could use any piano. Um, you see it affected, right? But I, I like this piano. And this is the mono broadcast. It sounds like this. Uh, and over here, you can see I I um, turn I geez, I'm stuttering. Uh, I put the corporation down one octave, and the reason I did that is because it needed a bit more variation. And when it does that, it sounds way cooler. Like when the melody goes from here to here, it's just you know again, uh, it makes the melody sound more full. For effects, I added just a reverb. This piano preset already has a lot of like vintage effect on it, so I don't need much, uh, but it's dry, so I just added a bit of reverb. Next up, I added, so, okay. Here is the sauce with the Don of Modis. The percussion, all right, the, I guess, I guess not the percussion, but more of the, the accents and stuff. Like, this is, this is all the percussion together, all right. This one shot was from, I don't remember where it was from. I think it was either the KBZ kit or the bass one kit. It's almost like a drum. Um, this is, the the percussion is also really bouncy. It's like the mix the bounce of the melody. All I did was add some reverb on um, the fat drums preset. Then I added this slide thingy uh, and it leads up to that little, like, you know, drum. Uh, for effects, I added an EQ and an isotope vinyl, uh, nothing crazy. Then I lastly added this one ethnic one shot, which sounded really cool for the start. Uh, I don't know, I liked it a lot. Um, for effects, I added an ambience. Uh, it's a free plugin, by the way, and an EQ. Uh, that effect sounds like this. Big difference, big difference. Um, then I added this little run from Base One and Pilgrim's One Shot Kit. Sounds like this. Like, I thought it gave such a cool feel when I felt, when I heard it, so I put, had to put it in. Um, for effects, I added an EQ, and that's it. Literally just an EQ, because it already ha was affected and stuff. I just uh, time-stretched it. Um, and then I added this vocal. Um, sounds like this. Again, cool vibe. For effects, uh, for the vocals, I added um, an EQ, a Valhalla Vintage Verb, and a Delay, because I... I don't know, I like delays with like one shot vocals. They sound really cool. Uh, with that effect, it sounds like this. Yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool. And then lastly, uh, oh, and then I added the same vocal, but I'm pretty sure, if I'm not mistaken, I pitched it down. Yeah, I pitched it down uh, one, uh, one octave uh, to make it sound cool. I then added this uh, texture, sounds like this. And the birds and shit, fire, birds chirping, heat, you know what I mean? Um, and then I exported this all out. I then put it on a mixer track 12, and I just added an RC20 uh, to make it even more vintage than it already was. And then it sounds like this. So 
Thank you guys so much for watching. Follow me on Instagram at Alec B. You know, you know the vibes. Follow Producer Grind at Producer Grind. Already know the vibes. Um, yeah. Uh, I hope I, I hope I tell y'all something. Um, I hope this shows y'all that you don't need contact and all that, and you can do a lot with one shot kits, with good one shot kits, of course. Just really creativity. What else? What else do I need to shout out? Um, nah, I, th I think that's good. Um, I'm gonna catch y'all later.